Hey guys, I'm Steven, and today we're going to try to fix a Quiet Partner 1 dishwasher that's leaking. We um, found a puddle of water down at the base while it was running. When we pulled the back, the bottom cover off. Let's see if I can show it. That sensor that's right there with my where my pointer finger is. So we've got water dripping right down those wires. And I think that is one of the internal sensors. We're going to have to pull the dishwasher out to check. So get the dishwasher out and take off the screw here. Now we should be able to slide that. So we're going to want to inspect in the back to make sure that dry up all the water from the leak. Okay. Where I see it leaking is right up in right up next to that sensor. Look inside. It looks like right next to the heating element, right where this sensor is. Looks like there is some damage to the basin. This is just deteriorating and I can see the crack right there. There it is. That's the hole. I'm going to prep the surface with a uh, with a little bit of sandpaper and then we're going to see what kind of epoxy we have to try and patch this. All right, so we're going to try this JB Weld water weld. I haven't used this before on a tub, but it looks like it should um, do the trick. It says it will even set underwater, but it works on fiberglass, PVC, and a lot of other stuff. So before we do that, I need to prep the the surface with a little, I have this uh, waterproof sanding sponge, um, this 3M product. Just take it to the tub and scratch up the surface really good. And that'll allow the water weld stuff to adhere better to the smooth surface. We're going to take the sensor that's off underneath and we're going to apply some of this water weld to both the inside and the outside of the tub just to give us a better chance of it staying sealed. So we're gonna sand this off too. So that's the hole here. And we got it sanded. There's a good view of the hole with a light coming up from the bottom. So the water weld we take we take the plastic off. See, there's two parts in it. Cover this back up. This is the water weld. So this is a putty. We want it to be a uniform color all the way, all the way throughout. So that two parts of that putty mixed together. So as it's starting to mix more, it's warming up from my hands, and it's becoming a little bit easier to mix in. Press it really hard. We don't want to get too close to the heating element. Now this water well says once it's once it's cured, it sets in 25 minutes. It says, and then once it says it cures in one hour, and then it's paintable, drillable, and all that. All right, so I can see that I've pressed through some of that sealant, uh, some of the water seal through the crack, and that's good. That's what I want to see. But I'm going to fill in as much the rest of this putty, I'm gonna fill it in below. The uh, water weld is sticking very nicely to the tub in the areas where I prepped the surface with the sandpaper. And it doesn't stick quite as well where I didn't prep, so I think it is really important to, to make sure that we prep the surface really well. All right, cured up. This stuff is really hard. It's hard on the bottom and the outside. It's hard, looks like it's sticking really well. So I think this JB Weld water weld it might do the trick. So we're gonna put the uh, shelves in and run a load and check for leaks. So I got everything back together and it's working perfectly and not leaking at all. And this uh, water weld, JB water weld did the trick. I recommend it. <laughs> I recommend it. 